Got you a little something, TQ. Did you pick me some flowers? I did. They're special flowers. Can you get one? Good try, TQ. Anyways, guys, good morning. How are you doing on this beautiful, what is currently a rainy morning? It's like foggy out. It's nasty. <laughs> come back here they've got a lot of this place done now and just take a peek what we're gonna have to do for snow removal so here's one of the new man doors I can definitely get the plow up to there so we can back drag straight back we're just gonna have to mark all this so we're not dragging all this gravel 
I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the gravel up here. I got a semi pulling in next to me. I got to see what he I can't tell if he's back in the air or not. Anyways, not a big fan of the gravel. Just because it's going to be messy. But that one there, that one's not a big deal. Man door up there can be shoveled out real quick. Garage door here. This one here will have to be shoveled. And then we're going to have a bunch of stuff up front here as well once we get to this point. So this whole area is just kind of a mess. You know, we've been told to stay out of here for now until construction's done, which we're probably getting fairly close. But uh, yeah, at some point we'll be coming in here to knock all this down as well. I'm gonna pick a lot of this trash up. not to get blasted. guys moving along here the uh, small one we didn't record on but we got it knocked out uh, we definitely think we have a squatter at that location if you remember last week we picked up all the socks today there was a flannel and what else was there like a pair of sweatpants a pair of sweatpants so somebody's yeah. definitely chilling under that tree probably during rainstorms uh, I just wish he or she would clean up after themselves but yeah. pulling up here to the next one this is the big boy and uh, we're gonna get rocking. Rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, this baby green back up pretty good. Ooh. Oh, Shh. whoa. All right. You might not be able to. Hold do on a this. second, guys. I got people walking towards me right now. There's, a, I see a hazardous truck. I'm guessing this isn't good. There's one second here. Never seen this before. Uh, we're probably about to ask you guys to come back. Not a big deal. We really have nothing going on right now. Yeah, okay. I understand. When I pulled in, I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that don't look good. No, appreciate it. Yep, yep, take care. Oh, man. So there's fire trucks, hazardous unit. Yeah, it's uh, all kinds of craziness around here right now. Give you guys a quick glance. We have no clue what's going on. But they asked us to come back. And, uh, yeah, we don't have a problem coming back, especially for something like that. That's way more important than lawn care any day of the week. But I'll tell you well, what, this baby. I will, I will want to, I do want to say, well, let's pray that everybody's okay. You yeah, don't I, don't, happen, you know? I don't, did you see, I didn't see any ambulances, did you? No, but I don't know. Yeah, I see a fire truck and a hazardous material. So it could be like a chemical spill or anything. You never know. Uh, these big companies and stuff, but yeah, definitely what you were saying. If anybody yeah. was, I'm sure it'll be online at some point as well. Oh, there is an EMS back there. Yeah, but I'm saying like they would pick people out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, they probably want us to leave this one too. Oh yeah, here comes another fire truck. Could be a fire too. You never know. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and skip this one as well brown so well, that kind of threw us off for about three hours worth of work uh, 
let's regroup. We'll be back. Right. Yeah, that kind of <laughs> threw the day off. It's uh, yeah. just before 11. Typically, we'd be at that one and this one until about 3. And, uh, yeah, that would pretty much be our commercial day, doing everything commercial. Yeah, things happen all the time, guys. It's unexpected. Um, I'm trying to think what we could re, what we could do now. Yeah. This, uh, we just lost three hours of our day. Hmm. I guess we'll come back. Yes. We'll come back, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're here at the house in the woods. It's way back there. Uh, we kind of had to regroup and reschedule uh, the rest of the work week. So this one was on tomorrow's route. Uh, so this will be about an hour's worth of work here total, maybe a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to move some things around. Like this one's empty, so it doesn't really matter if we mow it today or tomorrow. So we went ahead and bumped it up a day, which that'll hopefully give us enough time that we can swing back over there. And then we'll move some other stuff around as well. And it won't impact us too bad. Right. They said they'll be in contact to let us know, so. Yeah, let's get to it, TQ. Let's do Dang, it. Dang, man, why are you hitting me? Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. Got him. Got Good. him. Yeah. Got him. Good reflexes. <laughs>
tips here for you guys before you take the mower out onto the pavement with the wet grass all over it go ahead and clean it off so that you're not dragging it all down the road and then spending more time cleaning that up and then uh, waiting on TQ to get here to clean hers off and then I'll go ahead and take it and put it up on the trailer look at that road no mess at all <laughs> All right, so Sean's down at the property down the road finishing up. I went ahead and came down here and I'm gonna go ahead and start on this property here. Um, I've already trimmed it all out. Now I just gotta go ahead and mow it. All right, guys, so TQ, TQ's down at that one. Ramir came over. He, uh, I was expect, I didn't expect to see him. He, uh, he's a senior this year in school. So anyways, Ramir is a senior in high school this year, down in Kent South where I graduated from actually. And uh, he come walking over, kind of caught me off guard. So I chit chatted with him for a minute. He said uh, senior year, he's only got two classes. And uh, because he's got all of his credits. So I thought that was really cool. So I chit chatted with him for a minute and uh, his work program for the school or whatever because he has his own lawn care business quick quick tip for any of you uh junior sophomores uh that you know will have all your credits 
and your school offers a work program where you only got to go for your final classes the last senior year uh, as long as you have your own lawn care business and you can prove that like Ramir can you'll be able to get out of school you won't have to work for an actual you know like a subway or McDonald's or something like that you can work for Zach's lawn care but I'll tell you what the weather has been crazy today it's about to storm once again we've got hit by rain uh, we've had sunshine off and on oh yeah my mom if you guys remember back at the beginning of this video well probably not the beginning but somewhere in the video uh, we went to our big company and uh, my mom sent me a thing that somebody had posted here so they had a chemical spill at that location and seven people seven people were sent to the hospital so our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to all those families and the the folks that were injured at that location uh, but I don't see I'm not gonna go real into detail because this is a location that we you know service and everything uh, we just wanted to pay our respects a TQ hasn't even seen this yet but my mom literally had just sent it to us or sent it to me but yeah, it just says several people were sent to a local hospital uh, over a chemical spill. Uh, they're cleaning it up. So it says injuries are from moderate to severe. So yeah, thoughts and prayers from Spencer Lawn Care go out to that location. We know a lot of those people. We talk to them on a daily basis whenever we're working there. So. We don't know who, no names, anything. It was a very short article, but uh, that's what happened at that location. And uh, yeah, they'll definitely be in our thoughts and prayers. If you guys would join us as well, you know, you never want to see anybody injured or hurt. And uh, you know, unfortunately things do happen, accidents do happen. Uh, so yeah, definitely gonna have them in our thoughts and prayers. Pulling up here to TQ. I don't think she started trimming yet, but the customer's sitting right here, so I'm gonna get this trimmer before she backs over top of it. <sighs> Gotta tell TQ no no more with that. So customer was just getting in her car. I don't know if she saw this or not, but that's how you lose a four hundred dollar trimmer. So it looks like TQ's already got it all trimmed out. Just finishing up the mowing. Oh yeah, I just got hit with a raindrop too. Here it comes. Probably about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The township or city knocked that one down just like a couple weeks ago. One second here, guys. Alright, so here comes the rain as you can see. I'm going to get this blower, get blowing off so we can uh, get on out of here. <laughs> hey, we're just trying to keep the grass looking good. All right, so got the raincoats out. We were anticipating because we knew there was a de decent chance this afternoon. Uh, this is pretty much what it looks like for the rest of the week though after today no more rain in the forecast so yeah we we need it some things are starting to brown out again as well so I'm gonna get the blower and get this thing cleaned off pretty much wrapped up our day guys just the continued rain and to be honest with you we could really use it so uh, not complaining whatsoever but hey very unique day the circumstances that we ran into at the commercial property and then we just had to pivot but keep moving so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys talk to you later tq up peace bye